We're covering 7-3 today, which is triangle similarity, AA, which is angle angles, SSS, which is side, 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 and SAS, side, angle, side. And remember to take notes and do the check it outs. Okay, our two learning targets today. First one is I can prove certain triangles are similar by using angle, angle, side, 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 or side, angle, side, similarity. And I can use triangle similarity to solve problems. All right, remember, when we were proving triangles congruent, we used these theorems and postulates. Side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, hypotenuse leg, and angle, angle, side. For similarity, we only have three that we need to remember. Angle, angle, side, 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 and side, angle, side. So here are our first two. One's a postulate, one's a theorem. Postulate it, for angle angle similarity. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So here we have angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle B is congruent to angle E, so therefore triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Our next theorem is side 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 similarity, and it states if three sides of one triangle are proportional to three corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So AB corresponds to DE, and AC corresponds to DF, and BC corresponds to EF. They're all proportional, so therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Our last one is side angle side. So it says if two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another, and their included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. So here we have AB proportional to DE, BC proportional to EF. And notice it has to be the included angle, so that's the angle in between those two proportional sides. And so angle B is congruent to angle E. And because of that, we know triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Nice. So now in this example, we want to explain why the triangles are similar and write a similarity statement. So we see that, so our two triangles, we're going to triangle BAC and EDC, those two triangles. So we know that we have vertical angles, so those angles are congruent. And we also have two right angles. So we know nothing about the size, but we have two angles. So we have angle, angle, similarity. And our statement, if we start with um, angle, triangle ABC, it's going to be similar to triangle, we have to match up the angles. So it's going to be D, E, C. It's our similarity statement. Very good. Thanks. All right. This is yours to try. Explain why the triangles are similar. And don't forget to write your similarity statement, which is a statement telling me that A, B, C is similar to the other one with your vertices in the correct order. Now, again, this whole lesson's on verifying our triangle similarity. So here we have triangle PQR and triangle STU. We want to verify that they're similar. So again, we're looking, we're given side measures. So we're looking for corresponding sides to have the same ratio, be proportional. So if you look at PQ, it's going to be corresponds to ST. PQ is length 3, ST is length 4.5. Then we can take another side. We have PR corresponds to SU, which is going to be 2 over 3. And our third pair of sides, we have RQ corresponds to UT, which is also 3 over 4.5. Looking at these three different proportions, they don't look the same, but if we were to multiply this one top and bottom by 2 and simplify, we're going to get 6 over 9, which is 2 thirds. And same with this one. So now all three side corresponding sides are proportional, so therefore we can use side, side, side similarity and show that they're similar. For the next one, I'm going to clean this up. So now we want to look at triangle DEF and triangle HJK. Just look at the picture, we notice we have um, a side, an angle, and a side. We also have a side, angle, side. Angles are congruent. So you're thinking probably side, angle, side, but before, now we have to verify that. So we have to match up our corresponding sides. So we have side DE corresponds to HJ. 
DE is length 2, HJ is 1, and then we have DF corresponds to KH, which is 5.8 over 2.9. Again, they don't look the same, but if you were to simplify this, it simplifies 2 over 1. So we have the, course, or the corresponding sides are proportional, so SAS similarity does work for that one. All right, it's your turn. Verify triangle TXU is similar to VXW. And you have a hint. Well, there's a big <laughs> hint. So see if you can figure it out. Okay, in this one, you want to explain why those two triangles are similar and then find the length of CD. So our two triangles we're looking at, we have triangle ABE and we have triangle ACD. So again, we have some side lengths, but you want to notice we have each of our triangles have right angles, and they also share an angle. They all have angle A in common. So this is going to be similar because of angle, angle similarity. And then to find CD, we know that side CD corresponds to EB, and side AC corresponds to AB. CD we don't know. EB is length 5. AC is, you have to take the 9 plus 3, so we get 12. Use the entire side. And then AB is 9. So we're going to get 9CD equals 60, or CD equals 60 over 9, which will simplify to be 15. 15? Oh, no, it simplifies to 20 15. over 3, which is 6 and 2 thirds. Wrong problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully you'll do a better job in your math and sure, explain why. <laughs> explain why this tri uh, triangle RSV is similar to triangle RTU and find RT. Okay, so here's a proof. And at first you're going to, ooh, yuck, looks icky. We're given this side length here. We're given UT is uh, 3 times UT equals 5 times RT, so that means these are corresponding sides, and that 3 times UV, or 3 times VT equals 5 times ST. That's the same color. And then we want to prove the triangles are similar. That um, triangle UVT is similar to triangle RST. So we start out with one of our given statements. We're going to pick the first one, that 3UT equals 5RT. Remember, similarity for triangles are proving that the corresponding sides are proportional. So we can write, we can, here's the corresponding sides, UT is to RT, and the ratio is 5 over 3. Do the same thing with the next given statement. And again, putting the sides, corresponding sides, over each other, the ratio is also 5 over 3. So the corresponding sides are proportional. And then, don't forget about our vertical angles. We know those are congruent, so that's going to be our next statement. The vertical angles are congruent. And so for this, we have, we, go, we can go with side, angle, side, and side, angle, side to prove congruency or similarity. Ooh, not congruence, that's bad. It's easy to get confused. It is. All right, so given M is the midpoint of JK and N is the midpoint of KL and P is the midpoint of JL, that's a lot of midpoints, you need to show that triangle JKL is similar to triangle MPM. Okay, our last example, um, we have the photo here shows a gable roof where we're told that AC, which is this one here, AC is parallel to FG and triangle ABC is similar to triangle FBG. You want to find the length of BA to the nearest tenth of a foot. So you want to find this side length here. So we can set for proportion. So right in the proportion for this, we know that AC, this side is, AC is to FG as AB is to FB. And so we labeled the part we need to find as X. So putting the numbers in, 24 over 6.5 equals 17 plus x, because the entire side here, plus x, which is just the length of FB. So do cross product, you get 24x equals 10.5 plus 6.5x. 
and then simplifying my like terms, we get x to be 6.3. The question's asking for the length of BA. So we have to take, so BA is going to equal 17 plus 6.3, which will be 23.3 feet will be your final answer. Very there you nice. go. You can build a gable roof. Go do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What if AB is 4X, AC is 5X, and BF is 4? Find FG. That refers back to the picture we just had, back to the gable roof. Okay. I'm glad someone knows. So to summarize this, the three ways we found to prove triangles are similar. Angle, angle, side, 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 and slide, angle, side. And in similar triangles, make sure the corresponding side lengths are proportional. Set those up. And like we have with equality and congruence, reflexive property similarity, symmetric property similarity, and the transitive property similarity all apply for similarity. That's it. All right, good luck. <laughs>